Hey guys, want to do a quick tutorial video on how to get your Xbox One controller connected to your Windows 7 or 8.1 base PC, either wired or wireless connection. On Windows 10 it's obviously a little easier, it's actually more automatic, but some people definitely still find a challenge getting this to work correctly on Windows 7 or 8.1, and myself included, <laughs> actually not too, uh, pretty recently. So I wanted to show a quick tutorial on how to do both methods. You know, obviously you can always take your pick which one you want to do it. Finding drivers for Windows 7 and 8.1 has actually been a little tough since Microsoft pulled most of the drivers off their official sites. Kind of a ech kind of move on their part. So some people just have no choice but just to look around Google and whatnot. Third party websites to find drivers. In this case I'm actually going to recommend one particular site to get drivers for this. So right now I'm just going to show you how to hook it up through wired connection. Just go ahead and make sure your controller has no battery and just go ahead and hook it up through the, the wire to your computer, which I'm going to do right now. And you'll see over here, obviously, driver not found, etc, etc. So here's a particular solid website to download from. Techspot.com. I'll definitely shoot a link down here. There's obviously other sites, but this would be a good one to start with. You can go ahead and download your driver. I already went ahead and downloaded it right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and install it. Accept this. Now, the previous time I tried to install this, the mm -hmm. software would install. But as you can see here, there's some success, the little ding sound. I would not hear that at all. And you can tell here there was a unknown device here that showed here previously and it would still remain as an unknown device. But in this case it seemed like it worked out just fine. Let's assume that the controller, that even after the driver installation, the controller is not showing up correctly or still appears as an unknown device. By the way, after that driver installation, if you do see that, try giving the computer a reboot and see if that makes any change. But let's assume it didn't. So go ahead and go to control panel, go to devices and printers, you'll go here, then to hardware. On here you'll see unknown device or some other particular thing. I've actually seen three different varieties of this, which is so weird for just one controller. Click on this, on the unknown device, click on properties, go to driver. And you can just see that we probably could have just taken the shortcut just going here, but I just wanted to do it this particular method as well too. Click on update driver. And then here we're not going to click on search, we're going to click on browse. We obviously already installed a driver, it didn't work, so I'm going to click here. Now you're definitely seeing something different, but in your window you'll probably see show all devices. You'll see a big long list of stuff. So just be sure you click on show all devices and you'll come over here and you'll have a list of like manufacturers and the particular items on the, on the each one. So on their device, on their manufacturers, you'll scroll down to Microsoft, just Microsoft, not Microsoft Corporation, not Microsoft Inc, just Microsoft. And then you'll see a long list of stuff. Go ahead and scroll down, look for X Microsoft Xbox one controller. Go ahead and ignore this. And once you find it, just hit next. You'll see this, but whatever, just ignore it. And poof. And I went ahead and did it myself anyway. And seems like we're okay. I'm not sure why this little message came up. And you'll see Xbox One controller. Well, that was pretty much the method to get that controller to work wired, and obviously you can go ahead and connect multiple controllers if you'd like. If you do see an issue, just go ahead and just follow the same process again. You may not need to install the driver over and over. You just need to do that little process where you go to control panel and manually select the Xbox One controller. So how about wireless? We did buy these, obviously, because they are wireless capable, and we definitely would like to use them. You will need definitely this little USB dongle here. It's still sold online, ranging between 20 and $25 or so. And there are two versions of this. This is the one I'm actually talking about now, this, the bigger and original version. There is a smaller one. I believe the smaller one may not be compatible with Windows 7 or 8.1. This is still manufactured to some extent, and it's still available online. Now, despite the 
details saying that it's only available on Windows, only works on Windows 10. It actually does work on Windows 7 and 8.1. Originally, Microsoft some years back decided to make this only Windows 10 compatible, but got some backlash for it, obviously. And they went ahead and installed drivers uh, for 7 and 8.1 on their website and even on Windows Update, I believe, which is where I'm going to be getting this particular driver. So I'm going to go ahead and plug mine in right now. Definitely heard that sound that it did not get recognized or does not have drivers, and here we are, Xbox ACC. Now, this driver is obviously available online. Uh, I did also see that it's still available on uh, Microsoft Windows Update. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that. I already did the search. Obviously, I have no other updates available at this time. And you'll see that we get this Microsoft Net, etc., 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 over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and install this. Should be fairly quick, but you'll see in Device Manager, if you keep an eye on that, it'll instantly pop in the drivers, mm -hmm. and poof, we have Xbox Wireless Adapter for Windows. Step two is going to be basically getting your controller wireless ready. So I'm going to go ahead and take that cover off and um, plug in this little battery here. Always worried I'm going to crack that plastic of that back cover. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit the little X button on the front. The light's flashing. I'm going to do the little sync, the little button on top of the controller, which is around uh, Around here, I would say, hit that button and the button on the wireless receiver. Once the thing starts flashing faster, just let go. Let me go back to the desktop. And now there is a link and you can actually see that it was installed successfully. Um, let's check a look here. Human interface devices and you will see this Zimput compatible HID device and it seems like we're lurk working a-okay. Now, putting the controller down <laughs> in a slightly frustrated way. I have seen issues on two computers already that I've tried to do this method on where this appears but there's a little exclamation point like there's an issue or there's a driver missing or you again will see an unknown device. If for any reason you see that, go ahead and right click, hit uninstall, go ahead and delete driver software for this device as well too. That's very important. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. All right. Then we're gonna go ahead here and scan for new hardware. And here we have HID compliant game controller. So go back to our old friend here and check for updates. So after spending a moment searching for update, we'll see yet again another optional update is available. And we go here. This one's obviously another Microsoft, but different name. So we're just going to go ahead and check it. Hit OK. Keep an eye on this again. I cannot explain why this happens because technically it's the same driver for some reason it's just not working or um when i originally tried to install this and i still had that zimput compatible device with the little exclamation point and obviously when i try to use it on any game nothing will happen so if you actually do run into that just go ahead and follow this method be sure again to delete the driver as well too not just uninstall and you'll definitely have some success just like I did as well too. Go ahead and uh, plug in some more batteries into multiple controllers. I believe you can hook up to four or even eight. I don't know. And you'll go ahead and see that all of them begin to show up as another Zimput compatible device. I really hope you guys found this video um, useful. I'll go ahead and uh, shoot some, put a link or two for some drivers if, that I mentioned in this video. If you have any questions, by all means, please, please, absolutely shoot them over. Leave a comment if you like this video. Go ahead and shoot a like, subscribe. I'll definitely have some more tutorials and uh, hardware reviews as well too. Take care. Bye.